The LG G Flex is one of those phones that I thought would be underwhelming and forgettable with the gimmicky curved body and the Terminator style self-healing properties. The self-healing feature actually comes at the cost of a soft plastic body, which ironically enough attracts more scratches and dings, though they aren't as noticeable like a hard plastic, which can turn white instead of blending in when the paint is scratched away. Having said that, the first LG G Flex phone blew me away. Go into Best Buy and compare the 1080p OLED LG TV to any 4K TV in the store. Even with 4K TVs running in store UHD content, the 1080p LG TVs look a million times better. Not only that, but any 1080 signal from YouTube or cable looks just as good, whereas the 4K TVs don't hold a candle to it. The LG G Flex OLED screen is just as nice. In my opinion, no other screen is as enjoyable to consume media or play games on. I spent a ton of time with the G Flex 2 just watching YouTube's new 360 player with it. It boasts a 2 gigahertz, 64-bit octa-core CPU, but most users won't know the difference between most cell phone engines these days. A 13 megapixel rear camera with laser autofocus front-facing 2.1 megapixel pixel camera and 3000 milliamp battery life is great. For those of you who haven't seen my OG ultimate bin test on the original G Flex from last year's launch, check out my video in my library. I bent the phone completely back to back and it still worked. This year's version is a little bit more rigid with the internal components or however it's designed. I'll put that in a bin test tomorrow, but it's a little bit more challenging than what I thought it would be. Now let's take the G Flex 2 out to the range and put it up against the 50 cal. try to graze it. Let's see if I can keep from hitting it. Well, I guess I hit it. Well, it's gone, it. bro. <laughs> try to scratch it and uh we got a little antsy on this one and uh went ahead and pulled the trigger a little a little too uh too close to it and uh i'm gonna have to check this out i'm gonna have to check this out on the slow-mo playback but looks like uh if it deviated a little bit i'm not sure but uh i was trying to keep the bullet a little bit to the outside of it so maybe it did clip it just a little bit maybe it wasn't lined up on the z-axis like i'd hoped it would be but uh i actually took the box out here too see if we can find some of that body there's a battery there i have no idea where it went hey uh, my uh my my little bit sunburnt not so much like here not so much here, but like somewhere in this area here, in that area, am I, am I a little bit somewhere? <laughs> it didn't disintegrate. Yeah, there's some. That's the only piece that matters, the piece with the LG on it. So this is all we got left here of the LG G Flex. And uh, you know what, this might be the last video I do, but then again, Yesterday we took and we did an ultimate bend test on this, trying to bend it backwards, hyper extending it like we did with the first version of the G Flex. And uh, I might upload that tomorrow as a bonus video, but uh, I think this is gonna do it for the LG G Flex 2. So I'll see y'all next time. Crops were good this year.